Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read 2 Kings 13 to 18, Proverbs 22, and Psalm 100 voices. Let's get started. In the 23rd year of Joash, the son of Hazia, king of Judah, Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, began to reign over Israel to man. And he reigned 17 years. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and followed the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. He did not depart from them. And the anger of the Lord was kingdom against Israel. And he gave them continually into the hand of Hazael, king of Syria, and into the hand of Ben Hadad, the son of Hazael. And Jehoahaz sought to favor with the Lord. And the Lord respect, for he saw the oppression of Israel. Now the king of Syria present. But there was not left to Jehovah has an army of more than fifty horsemen, and ten chariots, and ten thousand footmen. For the king of Syria had destroyed them, and made them like the dust at threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Jehovah has, and all that he did, and his might, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the King of Judah? So Jehovah has slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Samaria, and Joash his son reigned in his place. In the thirty seventh year of Joash king of Judah, Jehoash the son of Jehovah has begun to reign over Israel and Samaria. He reigned sixteen years. He has said there was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebo, which he made Israel to sin, and he walked in them. Now the rest of the earth of Joash really was laid there, and the might with which he fought against the maids of King of Judah. Now they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the King of Judah. So Joash left with his father, and Jeroboam sat on his throne. And Joash was buried in Samaria with the king of Israel. Now when Elijah had fallen sick with the illness of which he was to die, Joash king of Israel went down to him and wept before him, crying, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. Then Elisha said, Take a bow and arrows. So he took a bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Throw the bow in Israel. And Elisha laid his hand on the king's head. He said, Even the wind of the east and every day, then Elisha said, Shoot, and he shot him, and he said, The Lord of the earth will give the arrow of victory in every city. You shall fight the Syrians in Africa until you have made an end of them. And he said, Take the arrows, and he took them. And he said to the king, Strike the ground with them. And he shot three times, and stopped. And the man of God was angry with him, and he said, You should have struck, you should have struck five or six times. And you will have struck down Syria and you until you made an end of it. And now you will strike down Syria only three times. So Elisha died and they buried him. Now bands of Moabites used to invade the land in the spring of And this man was being buried. And behold, the moronic man was seen, and the man was thrown into the grave of Elisha. And, and as soon as the man ties the bands of Elisha, he arrived and stood on his feet. Now Hazel came in Syria, oppressed all Israel, and all the days of Jehovah's house. But the Lord was gracious to them and had compassion on them, and he turned toward them, and kissed you of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not destroy them, nor has he cast them from the presence until then. When Hazel king of Syria died, and Hadad his son became king in his place, and Jehoash the son of Jehoahaz took a game from Ben Hadad the son of Hazel. The synergies that he had taken from Jehoahaz, his father in law. Three times Joash defeated him and recovered the seas of Israel. In the second year of Joash, the son of Joahaz, Joahaz, the king of Israel, amazed the son of Joash, the king of Israel, began to reign. He was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehoadan of Jerusalem. They knew what was right in the eyes of the Lord, yet not like David. David, his father, he did all of the things as Joash, his father, had done. And yet the high places were not removed. Were not removed. And the people were still sacrificed to the people still sacrificed and made offerings to the on the high places. And as soon as the royal power was a firmly in his head. And not put to death. And he struck in the servants of the of the murderers. He was struck down the king as well, but he did not put to death the children of the murderers. According to the Lord, it is written in the book of the Lord of Mets, where the Lord commanded, Father shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall children be put to death because of their father, but each one shall die for his own sin. He struck down ten thousand Edomites in the valley of Sodom to excel by storm, and he called Jokdi, which is which is its name to this day. And then Amazius sent messengers to Jehoash, the son of Jehoash, son of Jehu, the king of Israel, saying, Come, let's look one another in the face. And Jehoash king is just so much a major scheme to a thistle on my back and to a sailor on my back, saying, Give your daughter much to my son for a while, and a wild beast of the my back, and pass by and trample down the thistle. You have been struck down, Ed, and your heart has lifted you up. Be content with your glory and stay high. Why should you be wrecked over so that you fall? 
You and Cheetah with you. But Amazing would not listen. And Jehovah's Freaking Mesa went out and he and Amazing King and Cheetah faced one in the, uh, in the battle of Bestimus, which belongs to Jew. And Judah was defeated by Israel. And every man went to his side. And Jehovah's Freaking Mesa captured Amazing King and Judah. Son of Jehovah, son of Ahaziah, Bestimus, and came to Jerusalem and broke down the walls of Jerusalem for 400 cubits. From Ephraim, from the Ephraim gate to the corner gate, and seized all the gold and silver had all the vessels that were found in the house of the Lord and in the treasuries of the king's house. It's the house of the and he returned to Samaria. Now the rest of the yards of Jehoash that he did in his mind, and now we fought with Ahaziah, and the king of Judah, and are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Jehoash slept with his father, and was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. And Jeroboam had some rain in his place. The amazing son Josh, King of Judah, right, lived 15 years after the death of Jehovah. Son Jehovah has King of Judah. Now the rest of the detail on that is you. Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? So they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem. And he fled to Lachish. But they sent after him to Lachish and put him to death there. And they brought him, brought him on horses. <laughs> he was buried in Jerusalem with his father in the city of David. And all the people of Judah took his eye. He was sixteen years old and made him king of Israel his father and Asia. He built a lath and restored to Jew. After the king sat with his fathers. And the fifteenth year of Amazia, son Josh, king of Jew. Jeroboam, son Josh, king of Israel, began to reign in Samaria. And he reigned forty one years. And he did what was even the sad law. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebuchadnezzar, which he made his right to He restored the border of Israel from Abraham. As far as the other Arab, according to the word of the God of Israel, which he spoke by his servant, Jonathan, and Amitai, the prophet, who was from Gath Hefer, while the Lord saw that the affliction of Israel was very bitter. For there was none left, and born no free, and there was none to help Israel. But the Lord had not said that he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven. So he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, the son of Joash. And now the rest of the acts of Jeroboam, and all that he did, and his might. How he fought and how he restored Damascus and how that's in Judah and Israel. Now they're not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. And Jeroboam slept with his fathers, the kings of Israel. And Zechariah's son reigned in his place. In the 27th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, the Zion son of Amazia, king of Judah, began to reign. He was 16 years old when he began to reign. When he began to reign, and he reigned for two years in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, his last name was Jacolia of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. And according to all his father, and Mage had done. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and made offerings on the high places. And the Lord touched the king so that he was a leper to the day of his death. And he lived in a separate house, and Jotham the king was over the house of covering the people of the land. And then the rest of the acts of Azariah and all that he did. Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the King of Jews? And Azariah slept with his father, and he buried him with his father in the sea of David. And I see you, Dave. And Jotham the son reigned in his place. In the 37th, 38th year of Azariah, King of Jews, so Zechariah the son of Jeroboam uh, reigned over Israel in, in Samaria six months. And he knew what was even the sign of the Lord, as his father said that. And he did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam, uh, the son of Nebat, as he made Israel to see. Shahab the son of Jabesh conspired against him and struck him down. And, and struck him down at Ibrahim and put him to death and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the days of Zechariah, behold, they were in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. And uh, Shaul, son of Jabesh, began to reign in the day and idea of Azir, king of Judah. And he reigned one month in Samaria. And Menahem, the son of Gade, came up from Tuz and came to Samaria. And struck down Shaul, son of Jabesh, in Samaria, and put him to death and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the days of Shaul and the conspiracy that he made, behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles and the kings of Israel. At the time, Menahem, the son of and all who were in and his territory from Tuz on, because they did not open it to him. Therefore he sacked and ripped him and all the women in it who were pregnant. In the thirty ninth year of the Tsar King of Jude, and the hand of the son of Gadi began to reign over Israel, and he reigned ten years in Samaria. He did what was evil the son of Jude, he did not depart all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, when he gave Israel to see. And all the king of Assyria came against him, and Menahem gave four thousand tons of silver, that he might help him to confirm his hold on the royal power. Menahem exacted the money from Israel. 
Uh, it's from all the wealthy men. 50 shekels of silver from every man. So the, to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and did not save the other land. Now the rest of the deeds of Menahem and all the ages. Highly not written in the book of the Chronicles of the King of Assyria. And Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahir his son reigned in his place. In the 50th year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekahir the son of Menahem. Menahem. 50 C of Azariah King of Judah, Pekahir the son of Menahem, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and he reigned two years. And in Jehovah was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not turn away from the sins of Jehovah the son of Eve, but he made Israel to sin. And Pekah the son of Ramali, whose captain conspired against him with the 50 men, with 50 men of the people of Gilead, who struck him down in Samaria. And the citadel of the king's house with Argob and Aria. He put him to death and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the Jews of Pekah here and all the ages. Behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel. And in the fifty second year of his hour king of Jews, Pekah the son of Romania began to reign over Israel and Samaria. And he reigned twenty years, and he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. He had not departed from the sins of Jeroboam and the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. And the base of Pekah the king of Israel, Tiglas Pilsa, king of Assyria, came and captured Ayan. Abel, Beth, Maraca, Genoa, Kedesh, Hazel, Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Nephti, and he carried the people captive to Assyria. And Hoshea, the son of Ella, made a conspiracy against Pekka, the son of Ramal, and struck him down, and put him to death and reigned in his place. In the twentieth year of Jotham, the son of Isi, how the rest of the acts of Pekka and all that he did, he called the uh, written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. In the second year of Pekka, the son of Ramal, he came to death. Jotham, the son of Ozias, king of Judah, began to reign. He was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok, and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father is yet done. Nevertheless, the high places were not removed. Now people still sacrificed and made offerings on the high place. He built the upper gate of the house of the Lord. Now the rest of the athletes of the men of age, I did not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah. In those days the Lord began to send resin, the king of Syria, and Pekah the son of Amalia, against Judah. Jotham slept with his father, and was buried with his father in the city of David, his father. And Ahaz the son reigned in his place. In the seventeenth year, Pekah the son of Amalia, Ahaz the son of John, Jotham, king of Judah, began to reign. Ahaz was seven, twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And he did not do well with right in the eyes of the Lord, but his God, as his father did by her But he walked in the way of the king's Asia. He even burned his son as an offering, according to the speaking and practices of the nations. And the Lord drove out before the people of Israel. And he sacrificed and made offerings on the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. And Rosin, king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramalia, king of Israel, came up to wage war in Jerusalem. And they besieged Ahaz, but could not conquer it. At that time, Rosin, the king of Syria, recovered Elath, the Syria, and drove the men of Judah from Elath. And the Edomites came to Elath. And they dwell to this day. So Ahaz sent messengers to Hilgath, the hills of king of Assyria, saying, I am a son and your son. Come up and rescue me from the hand of the king of Syria and from the hand of the king of Israel. Who attacked me? He also took the silver and gold that was found in the house of the Lord and in the treasure of the king's house, and sent a present to the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria listened to him. The king of Assyria marched up against Damascus and took it, carrying the people captive to kill. And he killed present, and King Ahaz went to Damascus to meet the king who got the pills of the king of Assyria. He saw the altar that was at Damascus. And king Ahaz went to Uriah the priest, a model of the altar, and his pen, and his reaction was detailed. In Uriah the priest, they had built the altar in according to the law that King Ahaz had sent from Damascus. So he arrived the priest made before King Ahaz arrived from Damascus. And when the king came from Damascus, the king viewed the altar. And the king drew near to the altar and went up on it. And burned his burnt offering and his green offering, and called his drink offering, and threw the blood of his peace offerings on the altar. <laughs> and the brother's altar that was before the Lord, he removed from the front of the house, and the place between his altar and the house of the Lord. And he went on the north side of his altar. Then King Ahaz commanded you are the priest, saying, The great altar burn the morning burnt offering and the evening grain offering. And the king's burnt offering and his grain offering with the burnt offering of all the people of the Lord, and the grain offering and the drink offering, and throw off and throw on it all the blood of the burnt offering, and all the blood of the sacrifice, that the bronze altar shall be for me to inquire by. Here are the priests did all this as King Ahaz commanded, and King Ahaz cut off the frame for the stone and removed the pads from it, and he took down the sheep from off the bronze oxen that were under it, and put it on the stone pedestal, and he covered away for the Sabbath that had been built inside the house, 
and the outer edges of the king, he caused grass around the house and he kissed the king of the year. He has rushed the axe away, he has said, Now they not written the book of the chronicles of the kings of Jews, and they have slept with his father's and was buried in the leaves of the flowers in the city of death, and he has a key of son during his life. And the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Jews, her share of the son of El, began to reign in Samaria of Asia. <laughs> And he reigned nine years, and he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. And he was the king of Israel, who before the against it came a sign of the Lord. And thus the against it came up Shalom, and he said, King of Israel. And her share became her share became a vassal and pain and tribute. And the king of Israel found treachery in her share, but he sent messengers to serve King of Egypt, and offered no tribute to the king of Israel, as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. And the king of Assyria invaded all the land and came to spare. And I for thirty years he besieged. In the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Assyria captured Samaria. And he kept, carried the Israelites away to Assyria and placed them in Hala and on the Haiba, the river of Gerson, and in the cities of the Media. And this is here because the people of Israel sinned against the Lord their God, who had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And had feared that the gods had walked in the customs of the nations, whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel, and the customs that the kings of Israel had practiced. And the people of Israel did secretly against the Lord their God things that were not right. And they built for themselves high places in all their towns, from Washtown to Fortify City. He set for themselves pillars and ashram on every high hill, and under every green tree. And there they made offerings on all the high places, as the nations did whom the Lord carried away before them. And they did wicked things, provoking the Lord's anger. And they said that it was a wish the Lord had said to them. He shall not do this. Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn you from your evil way, and keep my commandments and my statutes, and go on the thought of the Lord, and I command your fathers. And I, know I sent to you by my servants the prophets, but they are not listen, but were stubborn as their fathers had been. You do not believe in the Lord their God. They despised all the statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers, and the warnings that he gave them. And he went after false idols and became false, and they followed the nations that were around them. Concerning the king, the Lord had commanded them that they should not do like them. And they abandoned all the commandments of the Lord they go, and made for themselves metal images of two calves. And they made Asher and worshipped all the hosts of heaven and served Baal. And they burned their sons and their daughters as offerings, and used divination and omens, and sold themselves to do evil in sight of the Lord. For breaking him to anger, and thus the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sight. None was left but the tribe of Judah only. Judah also did not keep the commandments of the Lord their God, and walked in the customs that Israel had introduced. And the Lord rejected all the descendants of Israel, and afflicted them, and gave them into the hand of others, until he had cast them out of his sight. Then he torn Israel from the house of David, and made Jeroboam the son of Nebuchadnezzar king. And Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord, and made them commit the great sin. The people of Israel walked in all the sins that Jeroboam did. They did not depart from them, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight. He is spoken by all the sounds of God. So Israel was exiled from that and led to Assyria until this day. And the king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, Kapha, Alva, Hamath, and Sephaphim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria and showed the people of Israel. And they took possession of Samaria and lived in the city. And at the beginning of their dwelling, they did not fear the Lord. And for the Lord sent lions among them, and she killed some of them. The king of Assyria was told, and the nations that you have carried away and placed in the seas of Samaria do not know the Lord, the God of the land. Therefore he sent lions among them, and behold, they are king against the eternal Lord, know the Lord, the God of the land. And the king of Assyria commanded, Send so there one of the priests whom you carry away from the land, and then go and dwell there, and teach them the Lord, the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and led them better, and taught them how they should feed the Lord. And every nation still made gods of its own, and put them in the shrines of the high places. The Samaritans are made. Every nation in the cities in which they live, the men of Babylon made Sakoth Benoth, the men of Kath made Nergal, the men of Hamath made Eshima, and the Avites made Nippas and Tartak. And the Sephavites burned the Asian in the fight to Adramalek and Adamalek, the gods of Sephavite. They also feared the Lord and appointed from among themselves all sorts of people as priests of the high places. The Shechabites were in the shrines of the high places, so they feared the Lord, but they served their own God. Half a moment, the nation from among whom they had been killed away. To this day, they do according to a former man. They do not fear the Lord, and they do not follow the statutes of the Lord, of the Lord, of the Lord, the commandment that the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel. The Lord made a covenant with with them and command them. You shall not fear other gods or bow them yourselves down to. Or serve or sacrifice to them, but you shall fear the Lord. 
Mary brought you out of the land of Israel with great power and with an extra strong. You shall bow yourselves to him, and with him you shall sacrifice him the statutes and all the rules and the laws and commandments that he wrote for you. You shall always be careful to do. You shall not fear other gods, and you shall not forget the covenant that I made with you. You shall not fear other gods, but you shall fear the Lord your God, and he will deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. However, they will not listen, but they did according to their former man. So these nations feared the Lord, and those who serve their carved images, and their children did likewise, and their children's children, as their fathers did, they do, they do to this day. In the third year of Hoshua, the son of Allah, king of Israel, as a kid, son of Ea, king of Judah, began to reign. He was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty-nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was A.B., the daughter of Zechariah, and he did well fight in the eyes of the people. According to all that had saved his father at the he removed the high places and broke the pillars and cut down the ash wall. He broke in pieces the one seven that those who made. For until those days did he put the time made offerings to it. He trusted in the Lord of the God of Israel, so that there was none like you among all the kings of Judah after, nor among those who were before. For he held fast to the Lord, he did not depart from following him. But he kept the commandments that the Lord commanded Moses, and the Lord was with him wherever he wanted. He prospered, he rebelled against the king of Syria and would not serve him. He struck down the Philistines as far as Gaza and his territory. And washed out the fortified city. In the fourth year of King Hezekiah, which was the seventh year of Hoshea, the son of Elam, King of Israel, Shalom and Asa, King of Syria, came up against Samaria and besieged it. At the end of three years, he took it. In the sixth year of Hezekiah, which was the ninth year of Hoshea, King of Israel, Samaria was taken. Then the king of Syria carried the Israelites away to Assyria and put them in Hal and on the Hable, the river of Gerson, and the seeds of the Medes, because they did not obey the voice of the Lord their God, and transgressed their curse covenant, even all that most of the servants of the Lord made. They neither listened nor obeyed. In the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah, Sarah and Jerob, king of Assyria, came up against all the fortified cities of Judah and took them. And Hezekiah came to the center of King of Assyria, and which he said, I have done wrong, withdraw from me, whatever. I withdraw from me. Whatever you impose on me, I'll bet. And the king of Assyria required of Hezekiah, king of Judah, 300 pounds of silver and 30 pounds of gold. And Hezekiah gave him all the silver that was found in the house of the Lord and the treasury of the king's house. At that time, Hezekiah stripped the gold from the doors of the people temple of and from the doorpost that Hezekiah, the king of Judah, uh, had overlaid and gave it to the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria sent the Tartar and the Rabsaris and the Rabshakeh. There was a great army from the Jews to King Hezekiah of Jerusalem. And they came out and came to Jerusalem. When they arrived, they came and stood by the Kondu of the upper court, which is on the highway to the Washington field. And they called for the king. They came unto him, like him, the son of Hilkiah, who was over at the house, and Shedna the secretary, and Joel the son of Asaph, the rabbi. And the rabbi Shaka said to them, Say to Hezekiah, Thus says the great king, the king was here. Uh, what do you rest this trust of yours? Do you think that mere words are strange you and powerful? You? In whom do you now trust that you have rebelled against me? Behold, you are now trusting now in Egypt, that broken reed of a star, who which will pierce the hand of every man, of any man who leans on it. As such as prefer our king of Egypt, to all who trust in him, and every sage me, we trust in the Lord and Lord. Is it not he whose high places and altars he has to keep from me, saying to Judah and to Jerusalem? You shall worship before this altar in Jerusalem. Come now, take make a wager with my master, the king of Israel. I'll give you two thousand horses if you are able on your part to set rise on them. How then can you rebuke a single captain among the least of my master's servants when you trust in Egypt for chariots and for horses? Moreover, it is without the Lord that I have come up against this place to destroy. And the Lord said to me, Go up against this land and destroy. And the lady came to the hill king and Shanna and Joah said to the rabbi, Please speak to your servants of Aramaic, for we understand. Do not speak to us in the land of Judah within the hearing of the people who are on the wall. But the Rabshaker said to me, Has my master sent me to speak these words to your master and to you, and not to the men sitting on the wall, who are doomed with you to eat their own dung and to drink their own dung? The Reb- then the Rabshaker stood and quiet in a loud voice in the language of Jew. Hear the word of the great king, King of Syria. Thus says the king, Do not let Hezekiah to you, or he will not be able to deliver you out of my hand. And then let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord. I say, the Lord surely deliver us and on each one. And the city will not be given into the hand of the king of Syria. So you listen to Hezekiah, for thus he says to the king of Syria, Make a peace with me and come out to me. Then each one of you will eat of his own life, and each one of his own victory, and each one of you will drink the water of his own sister. Until I come and take you away to a land like trees and honey, that you may live and not die. And do not listen to Hezekiah when he misleads you by saying, The Lord will deliver us. Has any of the gods of the nations ever delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Where have the gods of Hamath and Ahab? Where have the gods of Seth, Ben, Hena, and Iva? 
have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Among all the gods of the land have delivered their lands out of my hand. Let the Lord should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand. Let the people were silent and answer him not a word. And then the continuous command was, Do not answer him. Then a lady from the son of Hilkiah, who, who was over the household and shepherd and servitor, and Joel the son of Asaph, the recorded king to Hezekiah with their close one, and told him the words of the rap shaken. This is Proverbs 22. Good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and faith is better than silver or gold. The rich and the poor meet together, the Lord is make up for them. The prudent is danger and hide himself, and the simple go on and suffer. And the reward for humility is in fear of the Lord's riches and honor and life. The Lord stairs right uh, in the way of the cooker. Whoever guards the soul will keep on him. Train a child in train up a child in the way she should go. And an evil in he is all he will not depart from him. He no rich will serve the poor, and the borrower is a slave of the lender. Whoever serves injustice will really reap calamity, and the rod of his fear will fail. Whoever is bountiful, I will be blessed. But he shares his bread with the poor. Drown his coffer, and his strength will go, and coughing and abuse will cease. He who loves purity of heart, and whose speech is gracious, will have the king as his friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, while he overthrows the words of the traitor. The slaughter says, There is a line outside, it shall be killed in the streets. The eyes of the will be the woman in the deep. He with whom the Lord is angry with form into it. The Lord is bound in the heart of a child, but the Lord of discipline drives it far from him. Whoever oppresses the poor to increase his own wealth, or gives to the rich, will only come to property. Incline your ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply your heart to my knowledge, and for it all your blessing to if you keep you with them within you. If all of them are written on your lips, that your trust may be in the Lord, I have made them known to you today, even to you. I have I not written for you thirty sayings of counsel and knowledge, to make you know what is right and true, that you may give us true answer to those saying, Do not rob the poor, because he is poor, because he afflicted at the gate. The Lord will plead their cause and rob his life, those who rob him. Make no friendship with the man given to anger, nor go with the wrath of the man, as you live right in hand, be yourself in his name. You know, one of those who gave pledges, you put such security for death, if you have to bear. Why should your bed be taken from under you? Do not move the ancient landmark that your father has set. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand for gates, and he will not stand for the law of scared men. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and my soul. I praise the Lord alongside the level. Sing praises to you, my God, is why I have my be. But not your trust in princes, and the son of men, in whom there is no selfish. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Blessed is he who has help is the God of Jacob. The strength is in the Lord's God, he made heaven and earth. The sea and all that is in the who gives faithful love. And who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord loves up those who are bad, and the Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sweet journey. He upholds the widow and the fatherless, and uh, the way of the wicked he brings to the world. The Lord will bring forever your God is to all generations. Praise the Lord. Now the Son, I shall not do the Lord's prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will eat on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, and you shall forgive our debts. Leave no temptation, but deliver from the evil one. Give us the kingdom and the power and the glory of Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.